Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market. It is always so weird um, hopping on to 10 a.m. and there's like no Team of the Week yet. It's so weird because usually I expect Team of the Week because of the time change where we don't have Team of the Week yet. I just want to confirm that as well because if I'm recording this video and there's already Team of the Week, no, there's not Team of the Week. So we have to wait. Uh, we have to wait just a little bit uh, for that. Guys, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. I want to say yesterday... There is a reason I didn't upload uh, a second upload, and the reason for that, guys, was because I don't want to spam you guys with content if there's nothing going on. And last night, there was nothing going on. I really hadn't sold any cards many, many, many times. I didn't have much to tell you guys, so for that reason, I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to upload, but hopefully you guys get that vibe because I want to give you guys quality content from now on. I don't want to, like, that's what I have been doing, but again, I'm not going to just double upload the double upload. That's not how I do things. You guys know that. Um, so I want to share with you guys today because I did a lot of stuff on my account in the last 24 hours, a lot of grinding, a lot of stuff like that. Um, and then again, guys, let's, let's get a light, let's get a big, uh, like smash on today's video. I'd never do that, but well, I do that like once every month, but F it, let's do it today. And then guys, tomorrow we have 28 and two rewards. I'm very excited for that. And, uh, tomorrow's a big day because all screams are in packs and it's Halloween. We're going to have a long stream tomorrow too, because for the tis the season, uh, so we'll have a big stream up tomorrow. If you guys want to come hang out, we'll be on Twitch all day. I'll be on Twitch today a lot too. I wasn't going to stream today, but I'm going to. Um, so I got this done. I'm so happy about it. I'm finally done. And yeah. And also I want to clear something up. A lot of people always asking these videos like, Nick, do a Road to Glory next year. Guys, this is a Road to Glory. I upload two times a day because it's a Road to Glory. I show you guys exactly what I do. So uh, what we did overnight was okay. Um, I want to come clean to you guys. Um Right now, I want to come clean to you guys about something that's not going too well. So, the icons are really good. This loud drop, uh, we made like 10k on. This recost, we made about 10k on. Pires, we made about 10k on. Closest, uh, 10k. <laughs> Lampard is 10. These are all 10k. Antoine Griezmann, last night, before I was asleep, it was about 1 in the morning. I don't know what happened, but he downtrended so hard. Uh, he was like 8-7 yesterday, but right when I was going to sleep... I don't know if it shows you. There was an hour of 825. Yeah, right here. And I got this for 810. So after tax, I mean, that's like, I think that's like, uh, it's about like 20K, right? So it's not bad. Um, and then I'm starting to learn the screen card prices. I'm getting bored of flipping icons. Now I'm starting to, now I'm starting to flip screen cards. Uh, I got this at 230 and sold at 258. And then I got this at 30 and sold at 36. Now, Wanmi Saka was in my club and some Twitter trader right now has tweeted out that he's in this team of the week. So he's up like 5K, and I think they have a cup game today. So I don't even know. I took the money on him. He was in my club. I have one more. Cardi to take the money on. So we'll clear all that so you guys get updated. And this is what I'm coming clean on. I'm going to take a loss here, guys. Um, I, I I bought this at 800, and the reason I bought this card was because I really thought I was going to wake up today and he was going to be like 850, 860, and he's 790. So... <laughs> Not going too well. Now, this may go up tomorrow a little bit, but I don't care because I'd rather invest 800K into something else for weekly rewards. Like, it, it may go up tomorrow, but I doubt it. And then we've got our last Icardi. You guys know I made a little bit of a move on Icardi. Apparently, the leaks say that he is in Team of the Week. So I don't really know how that's going to fully impact his car price, but trying to get the last one out. I still don't understand why people are paying 80K for this card. I mean, I, I don't understand. And then I also made a little bit of an investment. This is just for the future. I bought a few Kieran Trippiers for 65. Like, I kind of like that. I don't know. I feel like Trippier for 65 is low. Considering Arnold is like 120. And yeah. Also, a big shout out to everybody enjoying the videos. Um, a lot of people have given it back to me and said they really enjoyed the camp style training. I haven't been doing it recently, but a lot of people saying they really enjoyed it. Um, got another few cards in here that we're trying to flip. And then we had a ton of icons overnight. These were in a little bit of trouble with because these haven't been selling. The goal is today for me, flip all these cards, right? Make coins on these cards, get them all out, reinvest later for weekly rewards. Tomorrow's weekly rewards, and the team of the week is really bad. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now in my experience in the past. When the team of the week is bad, when it's not a good selection of players, usually, all right, usually the market goes even higher because nobody's buying recent players from the team of the week. They're buying old players or meta golds. There's no nuance or, or new uh, you know, way of creativity for them to build teams. People have to go buy older cards or things like that. Now, 
Also made a little bit of an investment last night. Um, I started to notice that Ducori was going very well. I told you guys that this team of the week is actually not that bad to invest in. I do think it's rare. I picked up about 10 Ducores at 42 to 41 to 42.5. Now he's 45.5 and he's 50k on Xbox. So the reason why I like this, and I'm not saying you have to buy this, I'm just going to experiment with it. I'm probably going to sell it tomorrow. The reason I like this, guys, is because Ducore is French and he is in the Premier League and he's got pretty decent stats. Now, do I think that this is a good player? Not really. I would never use this player. High medium. Six feet. I don't think I would ever really rock this card on my team. He's a little too slow. He's got terrible acceleration, I think. But it's not about what I think, right? It's about what the community thinks. And I think the community consensus with this card is that he is pretty good. Uh, I think people think that this guy is good. Now, if they want to think that, I don't, I don't really mind it, right? It's all good if they want to think that. I'm just telling you guys, I am translating the information of what the community may think. And I also picked up a Hummels for 31. I, it's kind of crazy that, like, this is a price. Like, I'm not saying to buy this. I'm just saying, like... Verati, you guys saw me trading with Verati's inform yesterday. I, at some of these prices for these higher rated informs, I'm going to tell you this. If EA at any point drops anything, if they at any point, guys, if they drop anything that's going to like higher the price of the informs, man, it's going to be odd on the market. Like at any point, if EA comes out and they, you know, they, they actually give us something that raises the price of these informs, it's going to be crazy. Um, it's going to be really, really crazy. Now, I've been trading with this Frankie de Jong a bit. He's pretty good to trade with. He, what is up with the bids? Am I, am I going crazy? I swear to God, the buy nows look all weird. Am I going crazy, guys? Why is it in bold? Oh, my God. It's so weird. It's going to hurt my head. Uh, I've been trading with Frankie de Jong a bit, so he's been good to go with. Guys, this is the most important part. Tomorrow, we have a big pack opening. All right? A big pack opening. Now, I think the way we're going to do it with the channel is that the rewards will go up in the morning and then in the stream we'll open the packs because not only do I have packs in my account, Matt Hall, one of my moderators, you guys, if you don't know that name by now, then you're just not watching me because I do play reviews on his account. We open packs in his account. He's done a ton of gold upgrades for us. So tomorrow's a special day, guys. If you don't already, all screams, it's not 100% confirmed, but it's like 90%. All screams are in packs tomorrow. So there's going to be a double chance to pack these scream cards tomorrow. So I'm very excited for that. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. These are not relevant packs. These are just draft packs, but we've got a 15K pack, a 25K pack. We've got four 25, five, six 25K packs, four 50K packs for tomorrow. Now, that doesn't include the fact that I'll be doing a few League SBCs probably uh, to get a few extra packs. I've got to do, uh, on stream today, I've got to do marquee matchups. So I've got to go through and do the marquee matchups, marquee movements. I've got to do uh, not graveyard nights, but I'll be doing some of these. And then also... Uh, also, 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 I'm going to play more drafts today. So I'm going to play another draft or two today. Hopefully win those. Yesterday, I wanted to share this with you guys on my YouTube community. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, yes, this is crazy. So this is what I got in draft yesterday, and I was going crazy. I posted this on Twitter. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter to check out the stuff, you guys can. I'm not really plugging it. That's crazy, though. I've only had this. I got this once in FIFA 18, but I, I, you know, I don't play a ton of draft. So I finally got this, which is a sick because this the coins pays for three drafts already, and then we get a fifteen and a fifty. So yeah, and we play. I played like four drafts yesterday, man. So I'm I'm really addicted to draft at the moment. I love it. Uh, the gameplay is a lot better. I'm not playing division rivals at the moment, but the draft is really fun for me to play at the moment. Um, so yeah, and then uh, I mean, guys, aside from that, there's not all that much to discuss. I think at the moment. I mean, there's not. Too many things going on on foot. Um, I will tell you guys this. Scream is going to go until... I made a mistake the other day because I talked about Scream being out of packs on Friday. And they go to, they go out of packs on Sunday. So that changes kind of the dynamic of, of some of the things I've been talking about a little bit. And I want to keep you guys updated on it. Because if Scream's go out of packs on Sunday before Squad Battle Rewards, then I don't think they're going to be cheapest. I, I think they're going to be cheapest on Saturday. So a lot of people have been asking me about investing and, and things like that. And I, I don't think I would be investing yet. I think if they go out of packs on Sunday, that's going to allow them to be sold off with the weekend league sell-off. And, and you guys are like, Nick, do you have anything confirmed about that? In the menus, it says they're available for four more days. Um, so that makes me kind of think that they are in packs. In fact, obviously in packs until Sunday. And I think what will happen is EA will drop the old team in packs with this team, right? And because of that, it's actually going to... They're all going to be in packs, in my opinion, until Sunday. I think that's how I think that's how they'll do it, at least. I'm not sure. 
you guys know these guys at EA are really hard to understand. I never know half the stuff they're saying. That that would be a pretty good guess of mine. I mean, I'm not obviously I'm not 100% sure, but that would be a good guess of mine if I were to if I were to take a, a I guess a jab. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're very confusing to understand though. I, I again, we're gonna have to see if EA is gonna drop any like crazy SBCs because I feel like at the moment we don't really have any nuts SBCs for the scream. I mean, we we I don't know Navas like Milder. We haven't had any crazy SBCs so. I am very curious to see if EA comes out today, whether it's today, it's tomorrow, whatever day it is. Because it's going until Sunday, they do kind of have the flexibility to drop some really good cards. Um, whether or not they go ahead and do that, well, that's the that's up to EA, guys, as you guys know. <laughs> whether or not they actually do that, that's up to EA. Um, tonight's video, guys, will be really structured around investing for um, weekly rewards. I just want you guys to understand that. Tonight's video will be very, very... Uh, centralized towards picking up players, looking at meta golds, things like that. I still like a lot of these scream cards, man. Like, I have to say, I mean, this guy is really low right now. He was just like 270, but I like a lot of the scream cards going into tomorrow. I think even if they do get supplied tomorrow, they actually won't come out in my eyes until uh, past 1 p.m. So I don't know if they're all going to be in packs for scream rewards. And there is a very there's a very small, not a small chance, but there's a chance that they do become cheapest in the first hour of the release of them all in packs because I have an inner hunch that everybody's going to save packs like myself, right? I think that will happen. So if that does happen, you should expect all screams to be pretty much cheapest in the first hour. As you guys know, last Friday, that's kind of how it went down. All screams were really cheap. Uh, I think it was the first Friday that they released, the first hour. It's like that first hour wave is like very, very key. Now, I am buying my team back, guys, just so you guys know. A lot of you guys have been like, Nick, are you done playing Weekend League? I'm not done playing Weekend League. Um, I am buying my team back, and it's just a matter of time right now. I'm, I'm kind of like, obviously, you guys know, you guys can see I'm committed to committed to the trading. You guys keep asking me about Trans Profit. I don't really care about this number. I'm just looking at coins, but we are at 16.28. We, we were at 10.3 three when I sold my team so in like three days we've been going off so it, I think we're gonna sadly I mean as much as it sucks I think unfortunately guys we're gonna have to continue to do this trend of just buying our team and selling our team and it does kind of suck but I think we're gonna have to do it because I think for me efficiency wise I think I have to do it I think for me it's like very stupid to not be doing it um this is interesting I, I'm just like kind of looking on the market mode drug is really low drug has kind of just died I mean, he's just kind of died. And, and the the fact the funny thing is that I've tried him and he's not very good. I, I don't understand what the, like, he's not good. I, I didn't like him at all. I mean, I, I put up a review. If you guys don't know, I do reviews on my second channel. I did not like the card at all. I, I thought that the card was not very good. So, I don't know. It is what it is, bro. That's very interesting. Um, so, yeah, I've been trying my best in the last 24 hours to try out different types of cards in terms of trading. I know you guys are seeing me look at icons right now. And just to clarify, a lot of you guys are asking, why do I go to the 59th minute or how do I get there so quick? I do a basic filter, which basically means that when I do get to the 59th minute, that I am going to be able to find cards that are fresh or brand new, right? Instead of having icons that are used, the likelihood of a card under a basic filter uh, that is fresh is, is it's likely. It's, it's very actually possible that you're going to get a card that is brand new. And the 59th minute obviously means that these cards are just being listed onto the market. So a lot of the time, you'll, you'll find some deals that... Maybe the guy underlisted or didn't mean to list at that price, and, and it is a decent way to make, go ahead and make coins. I would say that it's most consistent, uh, in my opinion. It is most consistent when, like, we have promo packs. So, like, if EA drop some crazy pack or crazy SBC, the 59th minute is a really, really good way to trade. It's a really good way to go and go ahead and check them out. I started to move into the scream cards. Now, they didn't really sell too much overnight. But yeah, I started to look into the scream cards, and I am noticing this morning specifically, I don't know what it is about them, there is a little bit of a panic sell on the scream cards today. It's very interesting. And my biggest advice to you guys would be, I'm seeing a lot of people who always like trying to invest for rewards on Monday, Tuesdays. Don't. Don't invest for rewards on Monday, Tuesdays, guys, because in my experience, the market is actually cheapest the day before rewards. It's crazy. I actually, you guys see my videos, man. I invest for rewards the night before. It's mad. Um, it. You know, it's like it is. Now, today also, we could get a screen. Uh, there's so much stuff to talk about today. We could get a screen player SBC today. Uh, and my thought process behind that is that yesterday we got a pack, right? So 
We didn't get a player yesterday, which could mean that today it could be possible that we get a screen player today, boys. Um, which is, I guess, fun, right? So fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, boys. I'm looking for an Ebra under 240, but I don't think it's going to happen. So I need to work on getting these cards sold today, boys, because at the moment, we don't have that many coins at the moment. We need to work on these cards selling today, and this Insigne needs to sell. So, yeah. And also, I have three Trezeguets that I have not been able to sell. So what the hell is going on? Where is he? I'm a, am I, is it a rip? He's 330... He's like 330. Okay, I bought these at 305 and 310, and they can't. I can't sell them for my life, dude. I literally, I can't sell these guys. What I want to do with you guys, real quick, is show you guys an example of me looking through some icons um, before I go, and talking about a few of their sell prices. Like just kind of looking at these guys with you guys, um, so I can personally get an update on the prices, but also show you guys maybe on flipping with a bin of why I'm interested in the card. Um, so let's look for a sec. This Henri at 804 is low. That Vandersar at 340 is really low. Okay. That's really low. Is that on the market? I hope that's on the market. That's pretty low. He was 380 yesterday. 371. 350. I got to switch over for you guys. Uh, 343. All right. 343 we got. 352. What are the overnights? Now he's been 360, 373, 349. Let's go for the 343. I like that. All right. So... It's an okay deal. It's not a great deal, but this is an easy deal. I just used, I literally just went on flipping and looked at the prices. So he's 350 right now. Ideally, you'd get this in the 330s at this time, right? It'd be better that way. As you can see on the graphs, this guy is hitting 370 to 375. And yesterday, obviously 371. Now, the, the perfect flip point for this would be you would look at the overnights. The cheapest on the overnights is 375. So you know that the tax at this price is 17.5K. So for me, that right there is about 12,000 coins profit. And that's an easy profit from just knowing prices, right? It's, it's not that hard, these icons. I think a lot of you guys are overthinking it sometimes. A lot of people are coming to my stream saying, Nick, I don't know how the hell you touch these icons. And I understand because it, it, it does take some balls to touch these. I understand that they're higher cards. Like, I get it. But it's just knowledge, man. At the end of the day, it's just knowledge. Like, I, got, I see a schools for... I'm not going to switch over yet. I'm going to look and then tell you guys. But I see a schools at 285 uh 280 for paul's schools looks okay i don't know what his price was yesterday 294 on the fluctuation 293 so like there's a 280 on the market for schools the ideal price for this baby schools would be if i could hit him in the 270s if i could get him in the 270s that's money but 280 would be a settle because tax is 15k there's not much of a point there so we're gonna pass on that um kaka hullet Carlos, nope, not seen anything yet. Uh, Vieri. Ron at 345 is not bad. Roy Keane at 320 is pretty good. Lampard at 385. Roy Keane at 320, Lampard at 385. So let's take a look at those two. Roy Keane at uh, 320. That's pretty low. I don't think it's going to be on the market. Nope, that's pretty low. Lampard. Frank Lampard. I don't think that 385 is going to be on the market. Nope. So those were pretty low. Um, I can tell you 100% looking at those prices that that was really low for those two. Uh, Guardiola is going up a bit now because I'll, I think a lot of people who wanted to swap or have already gotten a swap. So, yeah, I mean, I think I think that's about it. I mean, I don't know what, what expired here. Let me see. Ibra's. Ibra. Ibra's low right now. Ibra sells like sometimes like 280. Last night he was 274. So the idea of if he does replicate that trend, this is going to be at least like 20K, 20K at that 250. Now, obviously, people buying that card are not really looking at it for that reason. But yeah, I'm just kind of letting you guys know that that's a low price for Ebra. You know what? This is always a really good time to look at bids. Like, is there any bids? Uh, not really. So that would have been like a good little sneaky. It'd be, it's always good to get on those like sneaky little bids there. That's what I always look at. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. A lot longer, but... A lot of stuff to talk about, obviously. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching my videos, man. I really appreciate all the guys who support me and uh, watch the channel all the time. I just appreciate it, man. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.